I've never seen anybody do this before, but it is working really well, so I figured I would share it. Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I digitize home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. All types of camcorder, tapes, and films are all done in-house, and I show you the behind the scenes of the business. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, EmeraldCoastDigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. Welcome back to the channel today. I've got a couple of high eight or digital eight tapes that I'm working on. They both have sticky shed syndrome. And you can see, especially this one, the mold. So these are torn. You can actually see the tape is torn in there. No ribbon. So this is for a customer I had about three weeks ago. And I told them that, uh, was a friend of mine and I did a bunch of tapes for him like 60 tapes or something but these two here were problems and I told him because I was doing it as kind of a deal for him as a friend that I wouldn't charge him any extra to handle these but I would have to do it when I had some free time I do have plenty of work to do I've got a big box of tapes here sorry it's dark in here today big box of tapes here film tapes audio cassettes I still have plenty to do in the shop but today I'm just feeling kind of like I just want to do this project and get it out of the way and I've had a few people ask how I clean and do mold and if I can use a rewinder to do it um, so I have these little rewinders here 8 millimeter video I don't think they have really a brand name oh Ambico Ambico rewinder and what I've learned is if you hook up a dimmer, just a regular old light switch dimmer, you can really control the speed of these things. See how slow that's moving? I can go fast or I can go slow. So hopefully with this and um, you know some past experience, I should be able to make quick work of this. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna Look at that. See how long that rip is? So you can't just play these, it's not gonna work. That actually happened probably from playing it. So it's gonna be a little harder. And right now I'm just trying to find the end of this tape and pull it up. So I got double sided tape on the screwdriver and I'm just pressing down and pulling up until it loosens, there it is. This tape is in pretty bad shape. You're hearing my coffee maker right now. So we just keep doing this. We know it's pretty long on this side because how long it was on the other side. So we know we're gonna have to go 
pretty deep to get it to get back to the full tape but by doing this kind of pulling the crap the broken parts out but also hopefully freeing up the part of the tape that isn't damaged there's a lot of it that's damaged but this is all you can do is try to get to a good part of the tape because right there all that's already sticky shed ripped so there's nothing you can do about that right there all right so we're into the full part of the tape now and hopefully if everything goes well and this will be all that we lost on this tape and we can recover the rest of it so we're going to start off with holding it tight and we're doing the same thing as we did with the vhs tape you're just going to hold with the left hand and you're just going to have nice clean hands, which my hands are very clean right now. And we're just going to pull and put some tension on it. And that's going to just ever so slightly stretch the tape and keep it from sticking. So now we're going to splice. Now we're going to trim off the excess. Could fold it over, but I just trim it off. It doesn't have to be perfect because that part's not going to play anyways. It just needs to hold the tape together. And once we digitize it, then uh, this tape's probably lost. So if you don't have a rewinder, you can kind of sit here and do it like this. And then roll it back up. And you could do this the whole way, but with this rewinder, you really speed things up. Still pretty hands-on, but it does make things a lot easier to do. So we're just taking our rewinder, and our rewinder is holding the tension, and we're just going to pull. We're holding the tape pretty tight, and we're kind of stretching the tape. Not really stretching it, damaging it, but stretching it just enough to break it free of the mold. And this is working really well. So I'm sure there's a few videos out there that show you how to do this, but I haven't seen any out there showing this method. And I just figured I'd show you guys and give this trick away. But this is just making things so much easier. And it's working really well. But we're not quite down to the worst of the mold yet, so we'll see. You can see how much mold, how far away we are. You can see the mold on the tape there. Guys, if you're watching this and this is giving you ideas and helping you, please like and subscribe. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. I might actually be able to monetize this page one day. But yeah, I've never seen anybody do this before. But it is working really well. So I figured I would share it. I know a lot of the followers and viewers here are in the business or learning. But a lot of you out there are just running into issues and trying to figure out how to solve them. Well, don't worry. I figured them out for you. And these rewinders have a good bit of torque, so you really don't want to turn them up too high. And 
we are making it through that mold just great guys and here it's starting to stick who would have thought these rewinders would be so useful and this one's set up pretty well the VHS rewinders don't have this opening here so you have that was the reason why I had to build that box but because this one listen to that mold cracking but because this has this opening this works great without disassembly as you can hear that mold breaking You can definitely hear it. You can hear it. It sounds like masking tape. Oh yeah, you see where it's starting to rip there? We did get a little rip. But this is the very end of the tape, so we're hoping. Hoping it'll be okay. All right, so now Emerald Coast Digitizing. This is Sean, how can I help you? Hi, Sean, this is Turner. I sent you an email a few days ago about potentially uh, digitizing some VHS tapes for me. Sure, how can I help you, man? Um, so I met, they're my parents. Uh, there's about 20 of them. I'm here 11 to 4, Monday through Saturday. Um, do you, how far away are you when you get off work? If you want to come by, I can stay till 4.30 for you. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to, unless you want to wait till tomorrow, but just let me know ahead of time. That way I can make arrangements. Okay, great. I'll be waiting on you. Thanks. See that can't get a break 4 30 can't even leave at four I had some chickens get out this morning but so lots of customers coming in today guys so we're getting close to the moldy part and we're gonna see if this method works we're just applying a little bit of resistance And we're in the mold territory. And I can hear it rip coming off. We haven't shed yet, but it's trying. So the tension that I'm putting on this hand here, it's really slowing it down. And it's causing this to kind of have more tension on it. And it's really helping it not rip. You can hear it. We've got some mold coming up right there. It's a little bit right there. So we're going to see. It's 
going so well. Oh, uh, don't say that. As soon as you say it's going well, something bad's gonna happen. All right, I think we got through the worst of it. All right, we've made it to the end. That's great. And I forgot to clean this sod. But since it's not stuck to it anymore, oh, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it again so I can clean that spool. Let's we'll see what happens. But now that we broke everything free, it should go pretty easily uh, yeah check it out so it, it fast forwarded all the way no problem so I'm gonna take this little pick pad I have right here and a little bit of uh, alcohol 91% just gonna wipe this down try to clean it up in case it decides it wants to stick to the tape again Roll it back up. And we'll put it back in our tape housing here. These are much easier than VHS. You just drop them in. Be careful not to get the tape stuck on the label if the label's still attached. So in. Turn that till it's tight. Check to see it moves, it's rolling perfect. So now we'll close it up. You gotta flip it over to screw it in, hold it together. Get our screwdriver. Now we gotta try to digitize it after all that work. We have to try to digitize it. And maybe it wouldn't have uh, ripped if we just put it in a rewinder, but this tape is super fragile already and we just wanted to make sure that we did a good job and that we didn't cut any corners. <clears throat> it's important to hand unroll these when they start showing signs of sticking and shedding and tearing like that. It's important to, uh, to go through and hand roll them. So now that we're here, I'm gonna put it in the rewinder and we're gonna start. And run right over that head there and maybe that'll clean it up a little bit more and then we'll be ready to digitize and we got another one of these to do so we're gonna start on hopefully it'll take it yep there it goes all right now that we have that figured out let's see if we can get an image off this thing Come on. Switching over into digital. It's a backwards compatible camera. Oh. And it is playing, guys. We got a hurricane, post hurricane footage here. Probably Hurricane Katrina. You guys know anything about Alabama, Florida, Louisiana? We got hit pretty hard. <laughs> But yeah, it's working, so I'll just keep that going in the background. This is that problematic tape I've been having here. But anyways, guys, I'm going to continue working on this other one. All right, guys, I know this video was kind of all over the place, but hopefully, mostly, I stuck to the content of repairing the uh, Digital 8 Video 8 High 8 tape. Sticky Shed Syndrome, using this Ambico rewinder here. These things, I find them on eBay. They show up every once in a while. Seriously though, they are so useful. Rewinders are just so useful across the board with repairing and cleaning 
and just everything that comes into all the problems that happen when you're doing uh, digitizing home movies or just VHS tapes and tapes in general. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. The channel's growing and it's all thanks to you guys. Getting close to that thousand subscriber mark. Pretty excited. Maybe I'll do a giveaway of some sort. I don't know. I don't know, what would you guys want? Anybody, anything in the shop anybody wants specifically for a giveaway? I don't know. I guess I can give away some mini DV tapes or a camera bag or I don't know. I've got a bunch of stuff. i got a couple CRTs I don't need. Uh, you know, just let me know in the comments if I should do a giveaway for the uh, thousand subscriber mark, assuming that we get there. But yeah, guys, thanks so much. See you in the next video.